Well, good morning, guys. It's early in the morning this Thursday, and today we are going to make Dale a cool truck. Well, how are we going to do that? We're doing an R12 to R134 conversion on the AC system. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we've got the truck out here and we're getting ready to do a, a recharge on the AC, AC system. And uh, I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing to make that happen. So what I've done was I've already installed the retrofit kit, which is simply replacing the Schrader valves on the AC lines that will fit the 134 refrigerant adapters on the Robin Air machine. So let me take a, so let me show you what those look like. So you've got your high and your low side here. So this one here uh, has a bigger fitting than this one. That's how you determine the difference between the high and the low. And uh, this one's on the dryer and this one's on your line down here. So once those are in, I used a little bit of PAG oil on the O-rings just to make sure that they seal, they don't dry up. And uh, now what we've got to do is evacuate the system fully, make sure there's nothing in there, put it on a vacuum, make sure it holds a vacuum, and then we can charge it up with what we feel is the proper amount. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So let's get the machine hooked up. So we've got our lines hooked up. Now all we got to do is come over to the machine and tell it that we want to recover. So now it's going to do a recovery and then we can put the vacuum on it and see if there's any leaks. Okay, so we've recovered everything that was out of the system everything looks good we're going to charge it up with two and a half pounds that works out to roughly about uh, 38 ounces uh, I don't know how much these things take for sure but what I can find on the internet that's what it's telling me so uh, we've already tried two pounds and it was only cycling uh, on the cool side when the compressor was on so we're gonna try two and a half pounds and see how we make out Well, the compressor kicked in again, that's a good sign. So that means it's getting enough uh, refrigerant. So we'll just wait for this thing to finish up and we'll check our temperatures. Okay, so we got the machine all disconnected. Now it's time to go check the temperatures inside the truck and see how cool she's running. So we've got the AC set on max, it's on cold, the fan is up high. Right now she's blowing about 54 out of that vent. And about 57 out of this bottom vent here. So it seems to be working fine and I gotta answer the phone. So I would say as it sits right now, we are running in the low 50s uh, for temperatures and I'm sure once we get out on the road and get some cool air running through that condenser, uh, we'll cool it down again. So I think that's what we may have to do is we may have to just get it for, out for a little drive. I do feel it's quite cool, but then again, it's cold outside too. So uh, I'm not sure exactly if it's the cold air coming through or if it's the AC. I think it's the AC. Everything seems to be working fine. So uh, let's get it out for a test drive and see if uh, it cools down anymore while we're driving. So I'm coming through the uh, drive through at Subway and uh, I shut the truck off at the order window and as I always do because it's loud. And I started up and I rolled around to the pickup window to pick up my lunch and I went to go start it and it wouldn't start. So here I am sitting at Subway um, off to the side in the drive through with my truck not starting. So, looking like I'm gonna have to uh, call for a rescue. It seems like the ignition switch might have been uh, messed up here because it'll only turn so far, almost like the steering wheel's locked, but it's not locked. Um, anyways, we're stuck on the side of the road here. Well, parking lot anyway. So here sits Dale, out by the dumpster at the moment where I think it uh, belongs um, but I think we have a problem with the ignition switch I've had some people I called dead they come down we tried to get underneath the truck and 
hot wire the starter but uh, we can't reach it we can't get under there far enough obviously because it's lowered but uh, call my buddy Dale from Matheson's Towing he's coming out he's gonna give us a tow back to the shop and uh, in the meantime I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat my lunch so uh, let me just show you what uh, what was going on so the ignition switch by times was like it is right now it's just kind of locking up right there in the run position or in the uh, whatever that is but then it will go forward but it won't go any further than that like it's not engaging the starter so the rod that connects here down to whatever at the bottom of the column it's just not making connections so I think I've got a bad ignition switch I think the starter works just fine uh, but we don't even know that because we can't uh, get underneath the truck to uh, try and boost it so we'll get her back to the shop get her figured out go from there that's all we can do so we got Matheson's here he's kind of my go-to for anything towing related and yes that is Dale gonna be going up on the truck so we'll get her back to the shop and we'll give you guys an update once we figure out what's going on I don't even know where we are in this video I've been going back and forth between air conditioning and truck not starting and getting towed and it being so friggin hot today um, so here's where we are I've got the steering column down I've removed the ignition switch uh, which is right here and I've tried starting it uh, with a screwdriver just kind of pulling on the switch and it still doesn't start um, so there's two things that I think that we're dealing with here so one of them could be the ignition switch I uh, they didn't have one anywhere in town here so I ordered one have it tomorrow uh, we'll put the ignition switch in we'll try it again and if it still doesn't start then we could be looking at a starter problem uh, whether it be a solenoid or the actual starter itself or why I don't know um, when it's sitting down on the ground again part of the problem of having a small uh, having a lower truck is that you just can't crawl under it and do some of the things that you would do on a normal truck so sitting at the subway parking lot it was hard to get underneath of it uh, so tomorrow at least we'll be able to get it jacked up and try and get at that starter if if we need to go there maybe the ignition switch will fix the problem but for now uh, I'm gonna call this a video um, to jump back before I was having starting issues at the drive-thru uh, the AC was running very very cold and uh, before I, te I tested it before I was gonna pick up the camera uh, and it was reading 51 and the ambient temperature outside at lunchtime was probably somewhere around 75 77 degrees so um, AC is running really good uh, I'll get back to that in a future video uh, as long as everything is still working good but uh, for now we're gonna call this it and uh, in the next video hopefully we'll have a resolution to this starting problem on the truck and uh, in a future video as well we're gonna be doing the retrofit of the OBS seat uh, in the cab here uh, getting uh, getting that all switched over so so thank you guys for sticking through this video with me uh, being all over the place uh, it's been kind of a razzle frazzle of a day um, and amongst all that we have managed to sell a car too so that was a uh, uh, that was good and in fact my customer was waiting for me uh, while I was sitting in the tow truck so anyways they were patient they were good to deal with and uh, yeah so next video hopefully we'll have a resolution for this problem and in the meantime I hope you guys have an opportunity to submit your ride the information is down in the description box below I'm asking everybody to give me a two-minute video on your favorite ride and uh, I'll feature that on uh, my YouTube channel. So if you could do that, submission deadline is May 31st. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. I'll see you in the next one.